This is my episode 18 review. I will not be using as many images as I have in my previous reviews because I'm trying to avoid copyright that I have been getting in my videos previous. Well, one of the more interesting ones this episode was actually Bruce. He goes with Alfred. He's trying to find out more, you know, of what his father's been up to. So he finds this date, this whole important date to do with Pinewood on the calendar. So he meets this woman. And then you realise she kind of has, like, talons of, like, a hawk or a bird of prey, basically. And you see that they're that sharp that she cuts Alfred's arm. You think it was some sort of horror movie type, you know? scenario that happened and you realize she's you know very hesitant she kind of realizes you know how young Bruce is and doesn't think really oh, he's a kid he's not ready for this and then she ends up taking them to actually the abandoned building and hopes you know that maybe he'll just give up but then they get you know they run into the police and you really see how sharp her claws are just like kills a man just their town arm thing if that is what it is and then you know, they end up, you know, she goes to police. She, the girl, she ends up being sort of taken to Blackwood. And then, well, Jim ends up, you know, putting something together with Bruce and the money and the whole scenario of getting them out. But the more interesting part was, you see, Freeze gets, you know, because of Hugo Strange, pets him out, you know, to deal with her. Because you realise he was the so-called philosopher. Seems like some really frat boy type name thing, which probably naturally is what it was. And then, as you see, he has a sort of a prototype suit because, you know, as the typical costume covers his head, but this is more of a prototype. And you see that she sacrifices herself. She realizes that if she does this, that Bruce will be able to, you know, get away. He's a good kid. She remembers what her fa- his father was really good to her. And you then see her getting turned to pieces. And that sort of, when Bruce realizes, uh, this really is dangerous, you know. It's had one more loss to him. But I personally think this is more of a driving force. She realizes, no, I have to put a stop to playing with the whole gen- genetically engineering thing that they're doing. You realize also in this episode one of Hugo Strange's bigger plans. He's trying to be, you know, like Frankenstein and create life. And as you see with the special patient he's actually working on, turns out in the end to be Gallivan. And you see him sort of, you know, but he's come back to life, he's all kind of crazy. As you see, he's more religious side with the whole monks. Coming out, he wants to come, you know, go crazy. He beats up all these guys. He starts actually speaking all this random religious gibberish stuff. And Hugo Strange is, you know, he's pleased with himself. He finally realized that this works. You can bring him back. We may see Jerome come back. I don't know. Who knows? And well, what I'm thinking is he'll probably let him out let loose you probably find Jim and chaos will ensue because somehow it will come out that Jim kills him there's no point with the GCPD but nah, who knows I'm looking forward to future episodes to see how the whole bringing back the dead will come into play I own none of the content in this video it's all owned by respectable people and I hope you like this video. Please comment if you have any future you know, ideas for future videos. And subscribe to my channel.